Okay, I hated this game more than any game I've ever played, and it was my round one tournament game. And I was very happy with my start. This is where I started recording this recording this screen. Uh, I got this plus five here. I'm orange of the seven and five, and I had a good guard on it. And pink was going last. And um, basically in this tournament, you need to score lots and lots of points. And you get points by killing people, and you get points by placement. So I needed to place high, and I needed to get a few kills in order to keep myself in. And the practice games had gone really well. I'm going to play it. I'm going to play it at double speed. And we're going to talk about it. But I thought at this point, pink could go, they're going to get six. So they could add to the four, they'd have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. They could get this this bottom one. They could go 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. They could probably get this one. So I thought they had, I nothing in my mind thought that it was a good play um, for anybody to break me at this point. If red breaks me, we're, we're neighbors. If blue blank breaks me, we're neighbors. Black's over there, so it'll be hard for them to, to break me. And uh, blue's actually a bot. And purple doesn't have a continent yet. So I was super happy with my first turn. And you'll see why I hate it. All right. Okay, so pink, in their first turn, they're thinking for a while. They're thinking for a while. I'm just talking. I'm happy about it. I'm explaining the game. What's happening? Okay, they break me. They use all their troops. They took, they hit it. They took a ten. They lost four on my five, so they didn't get an incredible roll. But they just hit me. They use their first turn to ruin my game. They didn't advance. They didn't go towards getting a continent. They're not anywhere close to getting a continent. Um, so right there, I'm like really frustrated that a new player would come into a tournament and just decide to ruin someone's game but i'm all over the map and i'm like maybe i can survive and make it a really long game and try and salvage the game um the blue bot has a continent people let him hold the continent and starts taking more territory so i'm really tilted and that's why i decided to do commentary instead of just um playing it uh, I'm not really happy with how I how I did commentary on this one because I just lost it. Um, I was very excited for this tournament, and uh, I felt like I was ready to do good in a tournament like this, and uh, I just lost it. So I could break red to get something for myself. Uh, I didn't feel like that was a good option because then I just have two enemies. Um, I thought about... Um, hitting pink back but then I just lose I thought about trying to take the continent back by going down south but pink's move was so aggressive that I thought they would just hit me again um, I'm pretty sure I'm right but you'll have to judge as the game goes on so uh, there's only like 20 minutes left in the game this will be a 10 minute video or something so red's in a really good spot and Purple's got a continent, blue, and black's got a continent. So everybody but pink, oh yeah, the person who hit me, are all in good spots. And I'm in just a terrible spot. I'm just struggling to survive. Um, and then purple gets their second continent. I would have rolled a 4v2 as well because you can always get it the next turn. Um, and the blue box starting to get to get bigger and bigger. So at this point... Um, Red asked me what they thought they could do better. I think Red needed to worry about getting Blue out of their general vicinity. Because Red doesn't want someone that has no emotions, like a bot, to break them. I love Black's play here. I think they should be trying to expand. Um, but they don't really have good expansion opportunities. And breaking the bot with with your, your gained troops, I think, is a good idea. So... Red just kind of, you know, takes one more territory. And all I'm really thinking about is trying to stay alive. I wish that the bot wasn't blocking me from this two because I was thinking about taking this uh, three now in the upper area out. And as it, it looks like 
pink is just haunting me right now. Um, purple gets to hold two continents. Red gets to hold two continents. Everything's going great for them. Um, nothing's going great for me. I got a raid, and I don't think I even noticed that I got a raid. Uh, so purple's just um, blocking their borders. They're mostly worried about blue. Notice pink is not breaking anybody else at this point. Um, they, they broke me. They used a huge amount of troops to do it. They're not breaking anybody else. And blue broke red. If red would have used their troops to push back th these blue armies and fortify back, that wouldn't have happened, right? They wouldn't have had very many troops in this continent. And and um, also they may have been able to take out all of blue from this continent as well. I think it was worth, worth um, what it would cost. And this little two down here, blue, I think they should have hit it too. So now red is not as bad as me and pink, but it's not going great for them. So they need to reestablish. They fortify in. Um, again, they're not guarding well enough. And so uh, it looks like they're abandoning this continent to the bottom left. And I want to start being able to get a bonus it's a very hard decision because pink's eight is going right towards me but if they're gonna gun for me they're gonna gun for me i figured so i just i took a bonus and i tried to send hearts and fists and everything we'll see what happens this turn actually wasn't the worst okay so their troops are being directed directly towards me and we'll stop fist Hearts, devil. Sends me the devil and puts a stack on my border. Um, Pink, after the game, was justifying all their actions. Um, the reasoning wasn't very good. I don't even remember what it was. But we'll see as the game goes on. Got to tell you, their name's Milkfat. I don't believe you. Um, I mean, you send signals of what you're trying to do when you do it like this and you put your troops on my border. Like maybe they were expecting retaliation. I don't know. Um, but they either were um, very ignorant to how this game is played or they were just trying to take out a top level grandmaster. So we'll see what you know, just notice all of their attacks and notice everything that um is happening so far lark moonborn thanks so much i'm I'm doing commentary on my on my round one because i didn't like how it went for you but i really appreciate you um saying thank you for the gener for your generous with your wrist knowledge i've learned so much i really appreciate it so um it's only going to be a few more minutes and then I, I should be done with this and i'll play a game okay so I thought they were just going to hit me. I was like, this player, they want to hit me. Um, they're going to hit me. So I thought they were just going to hit me. I don't know why they decided not to, um, but they did. Uh, purple's starting to get really big because they're holding two continents. They didn't get broken by the bot. You know, they guarded against the bot, which was, which was smart. Uh, I think they played a really good game. Okay, and they decide to take out red. They couldn't take me out because of this progressive like move I did where I, I put myself in multiple positions. So okay, I thought, you know, purple's big, but there's there's um three of us left plus a bot. So they they're not running away with the game. Maybe pink will start seeing them as a threat and hit them instead. You know, they have a very easy path right in, right over here. So I thought, sweet. Maybe if they hit them or take a continent from them, etc., everything will work out. So um, black is kind of in trouble here. They need to swing. Yeah, they have to keep breaking this continent so that they can survive. Uh, I'm finally getting a continental bonus for the first time. I'm continuing with with what I did before. Um, I'm uh, feeling pretty secure. 
I don't know why I backed off here. Oh, I backed off so that pink wouldn't find my 13 threatening because basically they're the one I was the most worried about. Pink needs to break blue here because you have a, a, a bot that owns a continent right next to you. I'm telling him well played. I'm giving him praise. I'm trying to make them my friend, right? I'm trying to make them stop hunting me. All right. Um, so now this move that I made to move off the border, um, I probably should have left something there because there's a blue bot right next to me. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, purple blocks the blue bot. And they break pink. They break pink again. That's why you break the bots when they're next to you, so they don't get a bunch of troops. And that's why you push them away. Uh, red and pink weren't doing that. Uh, I was expecting to get broken at some point in time. At this point, and I, I'm trying to stay alive. Um, and so black decides to expand, which was actually good for me. I, I want focus on other people other than me. Um, I really wish I ha had an opening to to that pink six. I'm trying to decide where I'm going to get a card at this point. I probably should have blocked my continent here. Um, but I really wanted to appear non-threatening to pink. Like pink is really the only thing I'm worried about because um, I don't think anybody else is going to be easy to kill me. And at this point, I'm still playing stay alive game. And I, I'm just worried about pink like taking out my positions. Um, so uh, purple. Purple's got a good lead. And let's see what they do with it. I use it to expand. So they can't expect to hold this continent because there's a bot right next to them. The bot breaks, the bot breaks, the bot breaks me. It's not good for me. Um but I can decide whether to take it back or, and guard um, or to continue to play more like a progressive style, which is spread out. Black's expanding. I like their game. Yeah, that's where you need to go. Try and uh, keep the bot off and keep pace with, with purple. Trying to decide if I want to hit that three or not. I was like, hmm, I don't think it's going to stop anybody from killing me, etc. And I finally split to, to try to hold the bot off me. Um, I'm starting to think, okay, maybe, maybe Pink made one crazy move, and that's the end of it. So um, Pink trades. Pink is the third largest player. Um, they could probably punch the bot real hard and get something for themselves. They decide to hit me, and they decide to basically blow up my game and allow purple to eat me, and they break black, who's the only other grandmaster in the game. So they hit me, and then they hit another grandmaster. So I think this person is just hunting like higher rated people. I used to see this in Global Dom a lot, where like when you were higher rated. I don't think purple should have thrown everything into the corner. I think they could have maybe like um, done more with that turn if they would have placed their troops appropriately. Okay, so then I watched the rest of the game. Purple is clearly the winner. Um, this blue bot, not too consequential. But again, if this 15 was over here, it could have punched through and over. You know, the um, purple, I think, should have probably tried to, like, punch black and, and pink. But it, it doesn't really matter. They got a big enough lead now that they've won the game. So I think black's really thinking, like, if they must not have cards. 
but they're really thinking like, what do I do here, right? All right, this is good. So black's like defending ag against pink. Pink has to punch through a two in their, in their five, basically, to put themselves on the far end. Um, they could have spread out and tried to take other parts of the board. At this point, the game's lost. I mean, all, they've used all of their extra troops that they've ever gained to punch Grandmasters. So at this point, the game is lost for them. Um, I'm checking stats quite a bit because I'm just baffled. I'm just baffled at what's happening in this game. Um, this move right here made me think, well, it's happening. Okay, I'm going to pause it here. The fact that pink left this, that purple left this one and, and made it hard for black to kill pink. Um, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It would have been almost impossible for them to kill pink. This moment, I thought purple and pink were teaming. I just want to clear the air on this. Uh, this is Demons of the Fall is purple. I don't think that's what happened. I actually think that like purple got handed a gift and that this pink player thought it would be fun to just ruin Grandmaster's days. Like, I think that's what happened. Um, I don't think that Pink was making moves that were best for them. Um, I think that Pink was making moves that that ru ruined top-ranked players' days. Um, I don't know if they'll do it again in the next round. I see that they're playing, and they're going to be paired against some really good people. Uh, if I were them, I'd be worried. I'd be worried about the Pink player. But... Um, yeah, I think that I think that that's what happened. So there was actually an investigation done, and these two didn't know each other. These two never talked to each other. They got randomly assigned. It wasn't like one of them switched to get into the group, and there were many, many groups. So um, like ninety some groups or something. So um, it just doesn't. It doesn't appear that they like were purposely teaming. Um, it just appears like Pink wanted to hit high-ranked players and didn't care if um, a lower-ranked player in purple um, got the win and that they didn't do great in the game. So just an FYI, um, that's what I th that's what I think is happening. Okay. Uh, so Demons of the Fall, I think, is doing pretty good. They're they're really securing the win here. And this one down here in Sophia, I asked him later, and when I reviewed it later, I thought, okay, he is securing the kill on both of them to get full bounty points. And I think I think it's actually a really good move. They got handed a gift of this game, and they took full advantage, and, and they're doing things to secure full bounty. So, um, Black is making a move to try to get third, second. Well, I can't remember if they get second or third. We'll see what happens with the bot. I, I was freaking out. I kept checking stats. I was like, what is happening in this game? So, um, and Pink's trying to, Pink's trying to get an additional placement. And then purple. Um, what do they do? Oh, yeah, they give these. They I think that what they're doing is they're giving these these guys the the next place. They're adding they're adding enough troops to give these guys the next place. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come on. Come here, buddy. Okay, by killing the bot. Um, by killing the bot, they're able to um, give these guys more points, which was nice. So they did that, and then they killed Pink first, which I really thought they were going to kill Black first, because at this point in time, I thought it looked like colluding in Global Dom, but it just wasn't, right? It just wasn't. So I got four points because I got fifth, and you get two points for sixth, four points for fifth, etc. I got no kills. Uh, it was a very disappointing round for me. I basically got targeted and um, 
it didn't go very well. Uh, I think that the person that targeted me could have really put themselves in a good position as well, getting that plus six, having a couple of bonus opportunities, expanding on the second turn to other bonuses. You know, I was never going to break them. No one was really breaking each other except for that one time that that they broke me and then the time that they broke the only other Grandmaster in the game. He, uh, Pink was basically the only person that broke people. Um, my feelings on it... I don't want to play with that person again. Like, you know, you, you think it's a game. There's a game. It's a game. So to question morality based on a game is is, is crazy. So let's not do that. But um, to me, it's not fun. And I don't want to play with somebody whose only goal is to hit somebody that's high ranked, if that makes sense. And I would never do that. I always want to win. And, you know, if that's their goal, they succeeded. They did great. They placed higher than me. They hit me. They ruined my game. They ruined my whole tournament, basically, by doing that. Um, so I don't want to play with that person ever again. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit angry at them still. And I wish they made different decisions. But they different. they didn't. And that's about all I can say about about milk fat is I don't want to play with them again. Uh, if I got paired with them, I would try to trade out to any any other group. Um, subscribe and follow. Let me know what you think. Uh, it was a it was a it was an interesting game to say the least. Thank you.